Hello everyone. Welcome to the online Elip gathering. Many of you who are watching now serve the Lord in one way or the other. You may be serving in missions, interceding for others in your homes, helping out in the parish or doing one-to-one -one evangelization. However you may be doing your Christian duties, Jesus reminds us of the right disposition to do so. In Luke 17, verse 10, the Lord tells us, When you have done all you have been told to do, say, We are ordinary servants. We have only done our duty. Humility in service. This is what we are called to do. To be humble and not expect applause. No reward will we serve, for it is merely our duty. Gay din naman kayo kapag nagawa na ninyo, ang lahat ng inuuto sa inyo ay sabihin ninyo, kabi ay mga lingkod na walang kabuluhan. Ginampalan lang namin ang aming tukulit. Lucas 17, Jesus. Kaya mga kapatid, ginampalan natin ang ating paglilingkod sa Diyos at sa kapwa ng buong kababaan ng loob. Let us always remember that we are simply ordinary servants doing no more than our duty. In Jesus' name, Amen. Magandang araw mga kapatid! Kumusta? Ang first half ng 2024 mukhang start na po ng rainy season. Grabe po ano, time passes swiftly. Parang dati lang we were confined to our homes and transition to online setups. Pero now, we get to have the best of both worlds. Pwede na muling makipagkita in person. Pwede na rin makipagkita at makipagkamusahan sa ating brothers and sisters in Christ all over the globe. Grabe! Ang galing po ano, I just feel so blessed kasi God did not leave our sides and guided us to where we are in our lives today. Kaya tara na po, aking iniimbitahan ang lahat let us sing our hearts out and praise and worship our Almighty Father. Let us come to His presence and lift the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By your love, you chase my fears away. Your love 
letting us know what true love is. Thank you for loving us unconditionally through thick and thin. Lord, please allow and help us to live like Jesus. Open our hearts and minds that we may receive your message through our teacher of the word. May all of our actions be an expression of our love and gratitude. All this we ask and thank you for in Jesus' name. Amen. Ngayon naman, para ibahagi sa atin ng mabuting balita, please help me welcome our teacher of the word, Brother Romel Benitez. Good evening, mga kapatid. Two Sundays ago, ay nag-celebrate tayo ng Pentecost. But before the Pentecost, Jesus told His disciples to stay in Jerusalem. These were the people who followed Jesus as He went through His earthly ministry. Alam nila ang mga turo, mga milagro, ang pagkapako ni Jesus sa krus, at kamatayan niya at pagkalibing. Now, they were seeing Jesus alive from the dead and hearing Him speak to them. Ang galing, di ba? Tsaka exciting yon. The power of God was displayed in their midst. The one they had followed was not only the Messiah, but God in person, face to face, was now alive without the limits of human flesh. Marahil, ready na silang magpatuloy at sabihin sa mundo ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus at ituloy ang misyon na sinimula niya. Alam niyo yun, yung reading ready na silang mag-mission ulit. Yet, in that moment, Jesus instructed them to wait. Acts 1 verse 4 says, On one occasion, while He was eating with them, He gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my Father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Jesus was referring about the coming down of the Holy Spirit. Pero ano kaya ang ginawa nila habang naghihintay sila sa upper room sa May Jerusalem? Acts 1 verse 14 says, All these with one mind and one purpose were continually devoting themselves to prayer, waiting together along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Aktibong paghihintay or active waiting ang tawag sa ginawa nila. At yan ay mahalagang aspeto sa ating pananampalataya. Nangangailangan ito ng pagpapasensya, pagtitiyaga, pagtitiwala at pagsuko sa timing at plano ng Diyos. Active waiting is more positive. It chooses to believe there's purpose in the delay. And the person waiting seeks to develop good habits like prayer, scripture reading, or seeking counsel. Meaning, we are actively patient in our waiting. Mahalaga ang paghihintay. Una, it helps us to develop a deeper relationship with Christ and the Holy Spirit. It brings to us His presence in prayer as we wait calmly for Him to respond. Psalm 37 verse 7 says, Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Dahil sa pananatili natin sa presensya ng Diyos at pananalangin, lumanalim ang ating ugnayan at relasyon sa Espiritu Santo. Also, it strengthens our faith and reliance on God's wisdom and guidance. Proverbs 19 verse 2 says, Desire without knowledge is not good, and one who moves too hurriedly misses the way. Sa Tagalog, maging masigasig ka man, ngunit walang nalalaman, wala rin itong kabuluhan. Kapag ikaw naman ay pabigla-bigla, madali kang magkakasala. Kaya mahalaga ang Bible study or Bible reading natin upang lumawak ang ating kaalaman tungkol sa Diyos at sa Kanyang kalooban. Ano pa? Kapag aktibo tayo naghihintay, it allows God to work in His perfect timing and bring about His best for us. Sabi ni Oswald Chambers, 
we don't want to wait for God to resolve matters in His good time because His idea of good time is seldom in sync with ours. To wait is not to sit with folded hands, but to learn to do what we are told. Kaya nga, hindi pwede ang passive waiting o yung folded hands lang na walang ginagawa habang naghihintay sa tugon ng Diyos. Siyempre, kung mahalaga ang paghihintay, meron ding mga challenges ang waiting. Waiting can be difficult and frustrating, especially when we want immediate answers or solutions. Sabi ulit ni Oswald Chambers, One of the greatest strains in life is the strain of waiting for God. It is often hard because we are fearful as we wait for an answer or because we must be patient to see what will happen. Paano kung wala? Paano kung hindi dumating? Other times, it is because we want to be active or engaged right away. It can be hard to want to do something, to do anything, and to be told to wait. Pero dapat, active waiting tayo. It also requires us to let go of our plans and trust in God's plan, even when it doesn't make sense to us. Obedience surrendered to God is always worth the cost of waiting. Meron akong ibabahagi sa inyo. Twelve years ago, my wife was in her seventh month of pregnancy and she needed to be admitted in a hospital due to preeclampsia. We didn't have money for the deposit, but I still went to the admission office in obedience to her doctor. The Holy Spirit told me to just wait. It did not cross my mind to call my parents or siblings, neither ask for anyone's help. And while waiting, I just prayed and prayed and patiently waited. And after a while, the admission staff called me and said to me, Sir, upon discharge na lang po kayo magbayad. Nasira po ang computer ko. Hallelujah! Ang galing talaga ni Lord. Akalain ninyo, pera ang kailangan namin, pero iba ang solusyon ng Panginoon. Sabi ni Oswald Chambers, God's nothings are the most positive answers. We have to stay on God and wait. Never try to help God to fulfill His word. It will also test our patience and faith, but it will allow us to grow in spiritual practices, perseverance, and trust in God's faithfulness. At syempre, kung merong challenge, ang waiting, meron din blessings ito. Una, God's presence and power comes alive and the Holy Spirit moves in those who live in obedience, surrender to Him. Sabi sa Isaiah 64 verse 4, For from days of old no one has heard, nor has ear perceived, nor has the eye seen a God beside you, who works and acts in behalf of the one who gladly waits for Him. Ano pa? Waiting on Him brings about blessings beyond what we could imagine because God's timing is always perfect. Lamentations 3 verse 25 says, The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul that seeks Him. It also deepens our intimacy with God and strengthens our character as we learn to trust Him more. Isaiah 43 verse 31 says, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In conclusion, Waiting on the Lord is not easy. Hindi po ito madali. But it is essential for our spiritual growth and maturity. Let us actively wait on the Lord with patience, trust, and faith 
knowing that He is always faithful, working for our good and His glory. Psalm 27 verse 14 says, Wait patiently for the Lord, be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. At siyempre, huwag nating kakalimutan ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoong Isu Cristo na kinakailangan nating hintayin ng may galak at pagtitiyaga. Sabi dito sa Titus 2 verses 11 to 13, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestations of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen at Amen. Maraming salamat po, Brother Romes, sa pagbabahagi ng message ni Lord with all of us. Ilim Community Special is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. If you want to be part of this work of evangelization, please give your thighs, love offerings, and donations to any of the following accounts. Pray for all those who gave their thighs and love offerings. May the Lord bless you all a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Elim O oh dear Mary, Lady of Elim, sweet and pure, pray that your Son, Jesus, will to innocence and holiness restore the hearts and minds of long-lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings sown in our hearts will steer us to great hope, faith, and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of community and of the Church, that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that a polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, a renewal of the spirit, and healing of our land and all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ilim Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the ministry of missionary evangelization. When my niece are in the mission field, within our borders or in foreign soil, for a single soul or for the multitudes, empower me for abundant soul winning. By your Spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and unashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories, that all the peoples of the earth may know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those we reach, Lord, Raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Manalangin tayo. Sa ng naman ng anak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Salamat po, Panginoong Yesus, sa muli mong pagpapaalala sa amin na manatili kaming naghihintay sa iyong tugon sa aming mga panalangin. 
Hangat namin ng iyong kalooban ang palaging maghari sa puso at isipan namin. Grant us the grace that we need to patiently and actively wait for your answers and second coming. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Pangalan na kamahan ng anak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. week's episode. We appreciate all of you for tuning in to our online ELIM gathering. So, susunod po ulit! Goodbye and God bless! Where we all could be refreshed Now the past doesn't